So, you think you can tell the difference between a full frame DSLR camera compared to a mirrorless camera that's an APS-C. Do you really think you can tell the difference? Are you honestly giving an opinion on a camera that you don't even own, but you think you can tell the difference? Well, here's your test. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you five images from my Canon 5D Mark III, and I'm gonna show you five of my images from the Fuji X-T3. There's exactly 10 images, but they're also split evenly. Can you pick correctly? You ready? This is gonna be so good. <laughs> How you think you did? Look, if you wanna write down all 10 and write your selections, or if you just wanna give me your Fuji numbers or your Canon numbers, either way, the results will be posted in the next video, but the cheat sheet a little bit ahead of time will be on our Facebook group page. So feel free to follow us over there. I'm gonna put the exact same images up. They can go ahead and pick as well. Maybe it's easier for you because you can see the images bigger. So I'm just really interested in whether this helped you with your thought process on the two different kinds of cameras. Does it make any difference at all? Were you right about the brand? Were you new information now proves that if you don't own the camera or you haven't worked with the camera and the images before, maybe it's a little bit more difficult to have an opinion unless you're actually having usability as a reference. All right, you guys, this is really, really awesome. This is fun. Go to the Facebook group page. I will see you over there. I'm still dying to see what y'all have to say. Comments, you guys. Put them in the comments, all right? Stay focused on your dreams. To the next video. Peace, all right?